The 1991 World Series between the Twins and the Atlanta Braves was a classic fall classic. Each chapter got better and better, and I think most people, baseball people, agree it was maybe one of the best World Series ever played. In a Game 7 highlighted by critical defensive plays and 10 shutout innings by Jack Morris, Dan Gladden led off for the Twins in the bottom of the 10th. Fastball swung on, a fly ball hit into left center field. That one's going to fall in for a base hit. And it is going to be a two-base hit for Dan Gladden. As soon as I left the batter's box, I was thinking that that ball's in an area where both the outfielders might have trouble. Uh, I just ran hard around first base and uh, really just didn't hesitate as that ball bounced. Uh, by then, I slid into second base safe. Uh, and at that point, I think everybody knew uh, it was pretty much over, as did, I think, the, the Atlanta Braves. After a sacrifice bunt and a pair of intentional walks, pinch hitter Gene Larkin won it for the Twins. I just remember Jack Morris. Come on, Danny. Come on, Danny. And Brian Harper was there, Jack Morris, Chili Davis. Mike Pagliarulo, and the umpire was trying to uh, fight his way in to make sure that, uh, that I touched home plate. I wish everybody could feel the joy I felt at that moment, because I think our world would be a better world. Everybody needs to feel that sense of accomplishment in their life and, and joy of knowing that they gave every ounce of energy they could and they got the results they were looking for. The Twins' victory in Game 7 of the 1991 World Series is number three on the countdown of the Minnesota Twins' Top 100 Metrodome Moments.